Hey, so thank you so much for your patience. Yesterday was quite a day. Um, I realized we had our Jupiter-Pluto uh, conjunction and like I didn't even talk about that. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's um, very similar to what I'm talking about in terms of this Akbal energy. Um, these 13 days of potential, um, starting yesterday and the last day being on the 24th. And, um, I wanted to share a couple, you know, extra thoughts with you. I, I put something on Instagram kind of introducing the concept, but, um, I like to work with cycles within cycles within cycles. And one of the cycles that I work with is the, is the Zulkin, which is the, um, which is a Mayan calendar that is a basically a form of natural time. It is a rhythmic day keeping calendar that allows people to step out of time but into time. And I've realized personally working with it that I've aligned more deeply into synchronicity and to recognize my own cycles and patterns within nature and to be more in tune with what is actually happening as opposed to still adhering to that Gregorian calendar, that structure that is very outside of natural time. I mean, like, if you had to guess naturally when New Year's should be, like, when would you say? I would say beginning of spring, like first day of spring. That's the begin that's the start of the new year in my opinion. That's when I begin to feel revitalized. Not in the middle of the year when I'm like, you know, having seasonal depression and like trying to make New Year's resolutions. But it's like it's it's usually gonna be like bake more cookies or eat less cookies, depending on how I'm feeling. So anyways, um I just thought I'd share that. Um just so you have kind of an idea of what I'm I'm meshing you all into. Um, but around this time, especially when working with the glyph um, Akbal, it is important. One of the key phrases or words that comes up with it is like conscious dreamer. And this is something oddly enough that I've been talking about already. And like, see, it's, it's all about that flow. And so this is some stuff that I'd like to share with you all because this is kind of where this is Part of where my work's going is to work with people to help them navigate through these cycles within cycles within cycles. So this is one of just the many um, kind of wheels of Dharma, I'll just call it, that I want, that I enjoy working with. Um, so, you know, during this time, talking about potential, a lot of it is driven by um, our subconscious because we repress certain things, we pick up certain things, we um, find value in certain ways in which we behave or offer ourselves to the world versus ways that we'd actually love to show up, you know, ways in which we'd actually enjoy our lives sometimes, you know? So taking time to go into the veil and be part of that veil, to um, practice consciously dreaming, to do that when you're asleep in the nighttime and also during the day, you know, to be able to navigate and switch between different polarities. So asking yourself questions around every corner, making sure that you recognize that choices are made, choices are possible, choices open up possibilities. And everyone you see is a reflection of whatever choices they've had to make. And where you are now is based off the choices that you've made. And some of them you may have feel, felt forced into, while whereas others maybe you felt incapable of making. But whatever they were, it's time to recognize that perhaps you choose within a certain pattern, within a certain cycle, within a certain restrictive subconscious um, events and to allow yourself to open up to explore those things, to go beyond those limits, to open up more possibilities, um, to really feel your way through that, that dark void, um, which is terrifying, but at the same time, absolutely exhilarating, liberating chef's kiss. 
So I just wanted to share a little bit more insight regarding that. And I'm hoping that it helps you all grasp a, a little more about this whole concept of um, the energy that we're entering and how to navigate that. Um, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to limit you. And also within each day of this 13 day cycle, we have another like prevailing energy that blends with that concept of potential. Um, so I'll also be sharing a little bit or at least offering some prompts from what I see um, the energies of each day are. So the next video will be about what the energies are today because it's the second day of this 13 day cycle. Um, yesterday, um, the 12th, the first day, um, was represented by Akbal. I, I, full disclosure, I totally made another video before this to introduce this and I messed up in the introduction and I said Akbar, um, because I was thinking of Star Wars, obviously, <laughs> but I just thought I'd share that because I thought it was hilarious. Anyways, thank you all so much. Um, if you have any questions, book a session with me and, um, We'll sort it out. Use your Patreon code if you're watching this on Patreon. If you're not, you know, reach out to me and we'll get you on the books. Bye.